Hello and welcome back to Papi English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today I'm in the city of Toledo in Spain. We're going to discover the city and I'm going to teach you English. So let's go. This is Toledo, the city of three cultures. A city that is a portal into Spain's past. Toledo is without question one of the most fascinating historical cities in the world. If you say something is without question something else, it means there is complete certainty that it's true. This city combines religious history from Islamic, Christian and Hebrew religions, which have left their mark on Toledo today. A place with so much cultural heritage, features belonging to the cultures of particular societies. So welcome to Toledo and let's learn English. So first of all, I'm going to check out Toledo Cathedral, built in the 13th century and one of the most important Christian landmarks in Spain. Inside it is beautifully decorated and it holds art from famous Spanish artists like El Greco and Goya. So the first thing I noticed about this cathedral is the soaring tower. If you describe something as soaring, it means it's flying or rising high into the air. And it's really impressive. And the site of the cathedral, that's the place, the piece of ground really, where the cathedral was constructed. The site used to be the site of a mosque, so a Muslim place of worship. Which I think is really interesting because it's an example of how the interesting cultures of this area have overlapped over time. So now it's time to have a wander around the old town of Toledo. Toledo is actually a UNESCO heritage site with its winding streets, streets that twist and turn, its serene courtyards, courtyards that are peaceful and calm and its artisan shops, shops with items skillfully made by hand. Next, I came across something remarkable, worthy of attention because it really is something special, the Mosque of Cristo de la Luz. This mosque is actually built in the 10th century, making it Toledo's oldest building, which is no mean feat. If you say something is no mean feat, it means it's a huge achievement and it really gives us a glimpse into Spain's Islamic history. The amazing patterns give us a glimpse of Spain's Moorish history. A glimpse means a small view. The mosque is a rarity, something uncommon and difficult to find, because it is in much of the same state as when it was originally built. Time to go and discover more about Toledo. The city is famous for its marzipan, sweet almond candy. The marzipan is handmade here and of very high quality. Let's give it a try. So this is the marzipan, the sweet almond candy. It's delicious and there's a legend about how marzipan became famous in Toledo and it said that the nuns fed it to the poor to stop them from starving. I hope they had a sweet tooth though. If you say someone has a sweet tooth, it's a nice way to say that they like eating sweet foods. That's enough marzipan for me. Let's see what Toledo has to offer next. This is the Synagogue del Transito. This synagogue is the most prominent Jewish monument in Spain. If you say something is the most prominent, it means it's the most important or the most famous. And it used to be the thriving center of the Jewish community here in Toledo. If you describe something as thriving, such as a community, it means it's very healthy and successful. You can see that the synagogue is decorated with Moorish influence decorations, which represents the harmony there used to be between the people of different religions and cultures. If there is harmony, it means there is a situation where people are peaceful and agree with each other. So there we go. That's the amazing city of Toledo. There are so many more monuments to see here. It's full of history, but that's for another video. Try writing an example sentence with any language you've learned in this lesson and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So that's the incredible city of Toledo. Chock a block with history. That means full of history. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next?